you're comparing the two post and four post, they pretty much work exactly the same. Both lifts are gonna have a electric over hydraulic pump system, meaning you have an electric motor that's connected to an oil pump that's into this valve block that has a suction tube going into the oil tank. So when the motor runs, basically you're pumping oil out of this tank through a series of hoses. One going to the cylinder on this side. The other one, like I said about that overhead, going overhead the top to the other side. So this is a two cylinder, two post, which that's fairly common. Um, many, many years ago, I've run into one cylinder hydraulics where they were chain drive, but this is a two cylinder, two system hydraulic system. Now our pump, you look at the size of these cylinders and you wonder how's that little cylinder pick up so much weight? Well, this pump pumps 3000 PSI and you got two cylinders. That's how you get your 10,000 pounds of lifting pressure. Now, the, as far as maintenance to the system, there really isn't a whole lot to do. Once you have this system in and bled, which in this instance, the chain over cylinders are self bleeding, it's pretty much there for the extent as long as you have it. What you will notice and may have to have repaired down the road, and that should be far down the road, is sometimes a hydraulic hose will start to leak. But you'll see a dripping on the floor. So you just see where it's coming from, you replace that, that um, hose. You have a short hose there, you have a short hose going down here, and you have a long hose going up overhead. The other place is your cylinders. Of course, the rubber seals run inside a, a polished bore. They can leak. If they leak, you're just going to see oil. There's a vent at the top of the cylinder. Oil will start to run out that vent and down on the floor. Again, that's a possible rebuild, rebuild or replacement. Some people want to replace their hydraulic oil in here after so long. It's not recommended. Um, <clears throat> you can if you want. If it makes you feel better, but pretty much the oil doesn't get hot. It's not like an engine where it makes the oil hot and it can break down. This goes up. It takes about 60 seconds to run up. It's not going to heat up that oil. Okay, one other thing that's unique, and it's, this is for the backyard buddy. The Advantage doesn't have it, but it has a vent tube. If I were to get you back there, this cylinder is a single acting cylinder, so it has a vent at the end to let air in and out. Well, if oil were ever to get by that cylinder, even a small amount, by design, it's going to drip onto your car. So even though it's only a drop or two of oil, you don't want it on your car. So with this one, we return that oil back into the tank. So you never know it's even dripping. But what this has that the two post doesn't have is it has this secondary lock system. Because by design, these cables on this lift, unlike the two posts that are actually picking up the vehicle, your hydraulic cylinder, it has a hydraulic cylinder, but it's underneath the runway that pulls all four cables through a series of pulleys. So now your cables are actually picking up each corner of the, of the, of the lift. So what you have to have now, if this cable were to break, What's designed in the lift is what we call a secondary lock. When that cable has tension on it, it's holding a lock independent from the one you control that it's setting on now. So if that cable were to give slack, hear that click? That's that lock engaging into one of those windows for safety. 